that, and God approves of that. Because there's the same folk that worship me every Sunday on Southern Baptist. My theology shapes my anthropology, which orders my society to the point that I can now have the new Jim Crow and put black men and brown men outside of the citizenry. What does that do to their families? A black man with no education. And the combination, I said intersectionality, the combination of inadequate educational systems, privatized prison, prison for profit. Now we got what? The Supreme Court saying this, dismantling the 1965 Voting Rights Act. A combination of factors that a black boy, black brown boy, his or her chances for success, to, oh, very important, write this down, I'll say it slowly, because a lot of, a lot of people don't understand I want to give you the sociologists, talking about sociology, definition of racism and white supremacy. Because a lot of people get confused. They say, you know, Marcus don't like white people. He's a racist. That's not racism. That's prejudice. Sociologically speaking, racism refers to the systemic, structural, institutional, or ideological disparity in the allocation of social rewards and material rewards, benefits, privileges, burdens, and disadvantages based on race. That includes access to resources, access to capital, black folk ain't got none of this, access to property, which affects life choices, and possession of social power and influence.